Hello everyone, Iris 1000 subscribers! <clears throat> well, uh, that was a couple months ago. I'm currently at 1600 something, I believe. But I didn't have as much time to make videos because I was very busy with construction work on my house. So, thank you all so much for subscribing and for your patience. And uh, anyway, to uh, celebrate this 1000 subscriber milestone, I decided to restore the old steam boiler because it feels like that thing hasn't been fired up for over a thousand years. So let's get to it. Okay, so I started building this boiler when I was 16 years old. So that's about four years ago. <coughs> so after years of experimentation, I made it into the outboard steam engine it is now. But unfortunately, after about 10 years, because the steel boiler will always corrode, it started leaking and I tried to repair it but it didn't really work. So I've opened it up again and now I will completely restore and improve it. All these years of kindergarten finally pay off. Okay, so I tried to shape this piece of steel while it was cold, but I'm afraid that in the long run I will be overcome by a slight feeling of fatigue. So to prevent that, I will heat it up in the forge so it will be a little bit easier. This is going to be the bottom part of the firebox. This is going to be the, the top part. So I will light up the forge now. And that's nice, and you have seen that too. Lighting a forge is pretty similar to lighting a steam boiler. So let me show you how I do it. To start the fire I use this charcoal, which I soak in paraffin oil, whatever oil, something with a high flame point to keep it safe. I'll put this in here. Oh, light it. So first let it burn a while, when it burns okay then I will start the blower. I will put on my respirator, I will keep it on the whole time because there's a lot of dust coming off of the fire so it's not very nice.
Hiya! Oh, 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 I screwed up a little, a little bit a lot, because this is the position they need to be, this is where I needed to weld them. So I think I have to weld something extra in between, because I'm not going to make these two parts again. Oh well. Okay, those are going nowhere. Now let's cut them off at the right spot. Yes, much better. Okay, that's nicely welded together. Now I'm gonna weld it onto the front. Okay, before welding it completely, let's first make sure it fits in the boiler. Like a glove. be a little up like this so it's perfect Okay, here I burnt off the zinc of pieces of installation pipe uh, to use as the flame pipes for the boiler. But it turns out that the installation pipe is not very suitable to be welded. So I got me some regular good quality pipe, did some practice welds and then welded it all together. Okay, so as you can see I taped off the back end. Let's fill her up with water to see if there aren't any leaks. This side's most important 
because when it's all welded together, I can't reach this side. The back side, can, I can always reach through the firebox. So if there's a leak, but it seems okay. So let's remove some stuff that's in the way. This part goes in here, like so. And then I have to weld this plate in here. And I can obviously never reach this with my tick torch and simultaneously add material. So I'm going to grind off this back piece. It doesn't need to hold pressure, so it doesn't matter if I cut it open. So then I can more easily reach the weld. So as you can see, I also cut off the steam dome. And that's because the hole I drilled in back uh, when I was 16 years old, I didn't really know how this worked. So I just drilled a little hole and I thought, oh, the steam will expand in here and then it can go to the steam engine. But the problem is that the way it's set up like this is that there will boil water in here. And then that water, this whole water pocket will be pushed into the hose that goes to the steam engine. So uh, that's not really a problem if you're just stationary. But when I had it on a boat, in the waves, when it was rocking back and forth, obviously the water in the boiler was also moving. And therefore the water was pushed into this hole, into the dome. And therefore the whole dome didn't work at all. So I'm now going to make this hole a little bit bigger. So that problem won't occur anymore. And then I will weld this back on and all will be okay. Okay, that's a big enough hole, I think. You can see that there's a quite a large gap that I need to fill up. This gap is a result of the fact that I cut open the boiler two times. So to fill it up I will uh, cut off a strip of steel and then weld that in. So let's do that. Okay, the welds are all complete, so now I've set up the steam engine and attached the boiler to the water inlet and I can, with this one, pump the water against steam pressure normally, so I also use it to pressure test the boiler. I do that each time before I fire it up. So let's see if the welds are all watertight. No leaks, very nice. Okay, so now the welds are all okay. I can weld this back on and then I need to do some o-ring repairs and then it's ready for a test fire, I think. Okay, she's now completely ready for testing. Let's fire it up.
Okay, she's building some pressure now. Okay, that worked pretty well. I will do the finishing touch in another video. So, thank you all so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Also, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I will do regular updates on the project I'm working on. And thank you for watching and see you next time. And happy holidays.